Hey, it's Dan here with Nurse Forge. So, like almost every other hospital in the nation, my hospital also has a shortage of PPE. So, my beard is going to have to be sacrificed to um, to help preserve um, as much equipment as possible. There's a limited amount to go around, and my beard creates problems for... Um, for the limited amount of uh, PPE that exists right now. So I'm going to share my shave my beard off and almost no one has seen me without a beard in you know, a very, very long time. So I'm not even 100% sure what my face looks like under here anymore. So uh, we'll get started. So while I shave, let's talk a little bit more about why I have to do this. Um, because of my beard, I uh, have to use more specialized equipment to protect myself from airborne diseases. And there is even less of that equipment out there than there is of the regular equipment. So to preserve that equipment for those who otherwise might not be able to fit an N95 mask, I am going to shave so that way I am using as little specialized equipment as possible. So I'm preserving it for those who need it more than I do. The mask has to fit. I am of the age group where I am more likely to be exposed to this disease and possibly carry it around with me without showing symptoms and potentially affect other people. So I, it, the mask has to be able to fit. It has to be able to protect me from people who may be sick and then down the road protect other people from me who could potentially be a carrier. I just could not put, I just would not be okay with the potential of making somebody else sick because I prefer to have a beard. My beard will grow back. I do have to say though that now that the beard is gone, my face feels so strange. I'm so used to having something covering my face at all times and to have just air touching my skin there. My face just feels cold and it is uh, strange. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But in any case, you're you know, going to, the people around me are going to see a brand new, uh, different face. I imagine that there's going to be people who may not even recognize me without the beard. So no, this will be fun and interesting and a little bit different. So in any case, I do want to uh, leave you with a couple of thoughts. First, don't get your primary information about COVID-19 coronavirus. Don't get that from social media. Get that from reputable sources. I'm seeing so much garbage being passed around and it is just not it's not helpful so if you're going to share something on social media check your sources look at what you're posting and don't spread disinformation because you could actually be hurting somebody I mean this is how people got the idea that they should gargle bleach that is ridiculous so when you're going to post something on social media, when you're going to share information, check your sources. All right, rant over. Um, so here's my baby face. Um, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.